Fox News is being sued by a former Republican superfan for ruining his life. Wow. Uh, okay, so now you're not going to be surprised who this is. This is Ray Epps. Uh, Ray Epps, uh, who attended a uh, pro-Trump rallies in D.C. on January 5th and 6th, has sued the network after former Fox News host Tucker Carlson suggested that he was a Fed. He was a federal agent. Member, member of the, the secret FBI plot to make Donald Trump supporters look bad. But you don't actually have to really do anything to make some supporters of Donald Trump look bad. They look pretty bad on their own. Uh, but okay, anyway, now Epps was filmed encouraging people to go into the Capitol building, but did not enter himself. He claims that, uh, oh, no, I thought this was public. Uh, well, I thought this was public, which I actually believe that because a lot of these people who watch Fox News are, don't, they don't know a lot of things because Fox News doesn't teach them anything. It doesn't actually deal with factual information. So obviously people who watch it are going to be deficient in the fact department. So they don't know if it's closed or not that, you know, they don't know um, about the Capitol building. They're, oh, it's a, well, it's a public building. It must be all open to the public. So yeah, I believe that. Uh, now, after this, though, uh, Epps became the center of right-wing conspiracy theories because, unlike other January 6th defendants, he was not initially charged with a crime. Now, in his suit, Epps claims that the relentless attacks by Fox and Mr. Carlson uh, and the resulting political pressure actually caused the Justice Department to file criminal charges against him back in May. So he has been charged. Uh, now, here's the thing. That's, no, it, it's, it's not because of the, oh, political pressure and the relentless attack. No, he was at the Capitol building with, the, with a bunch of the, you know, the rest of the chuds. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Okay. Uh, now, maybe the fact that uh, he eventually did get charged with something. Yeah, sure. I guess maybe it played a little bit into it. Uh, just the fact that he is the target of massive right-wing conspiracies. I'm still thinking he probably would have been charged with something at the end of the day. Uh, they're really working their way through the list of people. There are still court cases that are going on against Capitol rioters, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but anyway, his lawsuit alleges that Fox, in particular Mr. Carlson, commenced a years-long campaign spreading falsehoods about Epps that destroyed their lives and made he and his wife flee their home. After Carlson's segment, the lawsuit says he and his wife were deluged with threats and harassing messages, forcing them to flee from Arizona, selling the property at a low price. After destroying Epps' reputation and livelihood, Fox will move on to its next story while Ray and Robin live in a 350-square-foot uh, RV and face harassment and fear true harm. Mm. Living in a... Living in a... Uh, well, maybe not a van down by the river, but an RV, pretty close. So, look, I'm going to be honest with you. I do not have a lot of sympathy for this guy. Sorry. Not sorry. Okay? <laughs> Uh, let's just say, I apologize for nothing. I concede nothing. But let me also say that, uh, if you're sending this guy death threats, or if you're harassing them, stalking him and his wife, because you think he's, oh, some part of big deep state conspiracy theory to make Donald Trump supporters look bad. No, you're one of the worst ty uh, types of people. You're, you're a scummy person. Please stop and get help. Okay? But look, at, at the end of the day, the reason I don't have a lot of sympathy for him is because this is, a, this is a case of the leopards eating your face. You thought you were one of the leopards. You're not. No, you're the person whose face is getting eaten by the leopards. He showed up, he tried to incite people into the building, shouldn't have done that. Some people did try uh, to intimidate Congress and Vice President uh, at the time, Mike Pence, uh, into not confirming the results of the election. When that did not happen, the right went into conspiracy theory mode, including calling the crowd Antifa, BLM, tourists, and of course, feds. 
Now, for example, Tucker Carlson in January 2022 described Epps as a person who helped stage manage the insurrection. Mm. During another show, Carlson focused on the fact that Epps had not been charged at the time, asking, why is that? Well, let's just stop lying. At this point, it's pretty obvious why that is. During a, gi a July 2022 uh, uh, episode, Carlson guest Darren Beatty, a former White House speechwriter, called Epps, quote unquote, the smoking gun of the entire Fed Sepsurrection. And did uh, Tucker Carlson push back? No, not at all. Not, not in the slightest. But it's not just Tucker Carlson. You also had Fox News host, uh, host Laura Ingram discussing Epps in an October 2021 segment featuring a graphic asking, were federal assets involved in Capitol Riot? The answer, of course, is no. No. Just no. Uh, now, the lawsuit, which was filed in Delaware, alleges that Fox and Carlson knew Epps was almost definitely not a federal agent, but chose to disregard the information. Fox engaged in purposeful uh, avoidance of the truth, intentionally ignoring information and evidence that directly contradicted Fox's outlandish lies about Epps. And then, further on, refused to retract, correct, or apologize for its demonstrably false and defamatory accusations against Epps, well after Fox knew definitively that they were false, providing yet additional circumstantial evidence of actual malice. Fox thus broadcasts its lies about Epps with a high degree of awareness of provable, uh, probable falsity. Uh, again, uh, just fancy way of saying they lied. These people are lying liars who lied a lot. And so, look, um, yeah. <laughs> yes, they are lying liars who lie a lot. Uh, look, during the Dominion uh, lawsuit, we saw messages, internal uh, messages, emails and texts uh, from Fox News hosts emailing, texting each other, uh, admitting that they knew that the election was not stolen. They knew it. Very, very clear. They didn't believe it. Oh, no, yeah, that election conspiracy stuff, the big light. It's nuts. Oh, I don't believe it at all. Even Tucker Carlson saying, I don't believe it at all. Um, and yet, night after night, they put out the conspiracy theory about the election. Do you think that after that, they also wouldn't lie about the Capitol riots? And about Ray Epps? No, lying's all they do. Look, understand that Fox News, it's, it's, it's not that they have a particular perspective and it's a conservative perspective and we have to respect that. No, no, it's the fact that they lie. They, they lie intentionally and there's never any accountability for those lies. But, but what about the, the nearly $800 million uh, in a settlement with Dominion? Too low, too low. Not only is it too low, but also you can see from their reporting, they still have learned nothing. Now the question is, can Epps prove that he was defamed? Well, uh, without being a lawyer, I, I don't necessarily know, honestly. But I personally do believe that uh, he's got a pretty good shot. And so we'll have to see what happens.